Welcome to Make Something with me, David Picciuto, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this stylish waste basket. Do not be intimidated by all those crazy angles. I'm gonna show you an easy way to do it. Check it. Today, we're working with Out of Plan. I have a good idea in my head, but this is gonna be, there's, there's gonna be a little bit of experimentation. So the very first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna square this guy up, and then we're gonna cut the four corner pieces over at the table saw. Now that we have our square post, I'm going to cut a notch out of the corner. I already have my blade height set and the fence set. So we're gonna make two passes. On the second pass, we're going to move the fence so the waste piece is on the outside so it doesn't get trapped between the blade and the fence and shoot back at me and hit me in the crack. So now that we have the corner piece, I'm gonna cut it 45 on the outside of it just for a decorative element. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a groove on each one of these sides that's gonna hold a plywood panel. I actually did not have walnut plywood and made my own. I took a piece of 1 8 inch Baltic birch plywood with some of this paperback veneer and used contact cement. I did this last night because this stuff stinks terribly and I didn't wanna scare away Dan. I'm using this waste basket that we have from the house and I, I like that angle, so we're going to use that. So the next thing I'm gonna do is cut this up to length. I've got that first cut made, looking really good. I have a stop over here at my table saw. I will reference up against that and then cut my four legs. We have our four corner pieces cut. Now, I know that one of these grocery bags fits over this perfect. And that is 10 inches. So I cut a piece of plywood, scrap plywood, 10 inches by 10 inches. And I am going to double stick tape these guys on there. And that's going to help me determine the size of the plywood panel that we need to cut. So now that we have our mock-up, with the double-sided tape, we can measure our space here, measure our space here, add in our dado, and cut out the four panels out of the plywood. I'm putting painter's tape on the bottom because this will splinter really bad if we don't. So we're just gonna draw this line. Cut this out on the bandsaw. You could have also cut this out at the table saw, but it's just easier at the bandsaw and just follow the line. As you can see, it's not perfectly straight, but it doesn't matter because it's gonna get hidden in the little dado. We got this guy dry assembled. Now it's time to make the base for it. It's gonna sit up uh, and be on a half inch thick piece of wood. Basically, we're gonna make a frame that we're going to drop some plywood into that frame and that will be the bottom. So we have our piece cut that is going to be the bottom. We're basically gonna make a picture frame and we need to cut a rabbit in there that's going to allow a piece of plywood to drop into there. So now I'm gonna use my picture frame making sled and cut four pieces. And gluing this on to this will help support those weak joints. In the 
So I went ahead and sanded the bottoms as well as sanded off the corners. I think the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glue these panels together. We're gonna glue this to the base. So a little glue on the bottom. This won't be very strong, but we'll reinforce this. Because that is just glued to end grain, I'm gonna drill a shallow hole and then plug that with a dowel give it a little bit more strength. Now it's time to make the lid, the little lip that's gonna go around the top. Back to the same piece of walnut we've been using. I'm gonna cut a strip out of here and then do the same thing as we did for the bottom. Just kind of make, make a frame and then there's gonna be a rabbit in there and that rabbit is gonna fit over the top. We're just making this up as we go. We're gonna reinforce these joints with some splines here. It's still drying, so I gotta be careful. But I got my spline joint jig on the table saw, and I'm just gonna run it through. And then after that, we're gonna go cut some splines over at the band saw and glue them in. I should toughen that guy right up. We'll let that sit and dry and then we'll flush that up. You know what? Let's do this. If you do see some glue lines in there, you can just take some sandpaper. Simple Finish by Maker Brand. Yeah. Friends of mine and yours. Looking at this, it still looks a little too bulky. Chamfering this edge to this angle. I'd like to take a moment to tell you about today's sponsor and that is Dollar Shave Club. I've been a paying member since 2012. That's seven years. That's as long as I've been a woodworker and that's how much I like this product. I know what you're thinking. David, I'm jealous of your beard. It's so beautiful. Why would you need Dollar Shave Club? Well, I shave my head in the shower using their razors and their shave butter. Don't be fooled by the name. It's not just shaving products. They have all of your bathroom needs taken care of. You can get cologne, deodorant, body wash, toothbrushes, toothpaste, anything that you can think of that you need in the bathroom, they've got it. Have you been to the store to buy razor blades lately? They're locked up in a case and you have to call an employee over to unlock it for you. How crazy is that? Just have it delivered to your house. Right now they have this great offer where you can get their shave, shower, or oral kit for only five bucks. The shave starter kit comes with the executive razor and a three ounce tube of the Dr. Carver's shave butter. The oral kit starter kit comes with their weighty toothbrush and a trial size version of their toothpaste. 
The Shower Starter Kit comes with their three trial size versions of their Amber Lavender Body Cleanser, Citrus and Hawaiian Ginger Face Cleanser, and the Sage and Black Pepper Shampoo. Join the club at just five bucks for a starter kit. After that, the restock box ships regular size products at regular price. Get this exclusive deal at dollarshapeclub.com slash make something. Thank you Dollar Shape Club for seven years of sending me quality products and thank you for sponsoring today's video. I am super, super happy with how that came out. All of the solid walnut, the paperback walnut, veneer, the plywood, and even the rubber feet came from my friends at KenCraft. Please check them out at KenCraftCompany.com. They are a family run business right here in Toledo, Ohio, and they do sell online. My favorite TV show of all time is Mad Men. And about a year ago, there was an auction for a lot of the props and on-set items for that show. And this wastebasket was one of those items. For a long time, I was the highest bidder until the last day. And then the last day, it went above $400, which is an insane amount of money to pay for a wastebasket. So I use that as inspiration. It's not exactly the same. The base and the lip are a little bit different. And then I also brought in inspiration from this trash can that we have in our house and combine those two to come up with this. I normally don't like working without plans. This is one of those things that I needed to make at least a prototype so I could get the angles and the look that I wanted. And it turns out the very first version of it is exactly what I had in my head. There won't be a version two because I like version one. This fits one of these grocery bags, perfect. And then this goes right on top. I probably won't use the grocery bag because I'm not gonna throw anything in there that's uh, that's gonna ruin the inside. It'll be it'll be paper products or just kind of whatever waste that I have in my office. The lid fits on there great. No need for magnets or anything, and it's. I got a really good friction fit on there. I will have plans for sale on my website at makesomething.com. If you're new here, we put out new project videos every single week. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something.